September 21st, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Hebrews chapter 5 from the New Testament. For every high priest is taken from among the people and appointed to represent them before God, to offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal compassionately with those who are ignorant and erring since he also is subject to weakness. And for this reason, he is obligated to make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. And no one assumes this honor on his own initiative, but only when called to it by God, as in fact Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself in becoming high priest, but the one who glorified him was God, who said to him, You are my son. Today I have fathered you. As also in another place, God says, You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. During his earthly life, Christ offered both requests and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his devotion. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through the things he suffered, and by being perfected in this way, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him. And he was designated by God as high priest in the order of Melchizedek. On this topic, we have much to say and it is difficult to explain since you have become sluggish in hearing. For though you should in fact be teachers by this time, you need someone to teach you the beginning elements of God's utterances. You have gone back to needing milk, not solid food. For everyone who lives on milk is inexperienced in the message of righteousness because he is an infant. But solid food is for the mature whose perceptions are trained by practice to discern both good and evil. God, I know it must be frustrating to you that we continually go back to that spot of being little kids, babies, needing milk, when we know better. Most of us have been in church long enough, studied the Bible long enough, had a relationship long enough with you to have moved on, weaned ourselves from the milk, meaning all of the hand holding, uh, the backsliding, the um, not understanding certain things, not understanding basic tenements, uh, not understanding basic doctrine of what a Christian believes. And we should have moved on to other things. And more importantly, we should be in a a spot where we can help other people who are in that milk phase, who are growing as Christians, who are baby Christians. Um, That's what we're called to do is to help others. Yet so often we whine and complain and don't take responsibility for our own relationship with you. Uh, I wonder how many marriages would work How many marriages would work if we put into our marriage how little time and effort we put into our relationship with you? If we were always whining and complaining and asking for things and forgetting things you told us and uh, going against what you wished for us and not responding to you out of love or respect or honor or fear, yeah, we would have no husband or wife really quick, but yet we think that we can treat you that way. And you're really clear multiple places in the Bible of, I've taught you these things. You know this stuff. Now move on. Move on into a more mature Christian, into a different level of relationship with me. So you can help other baby Christians who truly need that strength and support and understanding and process that you've already learned. God, please forgive us for for being selfish, for taking up so much time and energy in areas that there's no point in us being in at all. Help us to press into your word, to learn more about it, to press into talking to you and having a relationship with you, and to press into a community uh, within our church, within our town itself, so that we can help those who are still baby Christians, who are truly baby Christians, and help them grow just as you have told us that we need to grow in your word as well. God, thank you for your patience and understanding as we work through what this relationship uh, looks like and help us to continue to learn and please provide the wisdom as promised of what your word says and where we should take that. In your son's name I pray. Amen.